uh, check engine light on my uh, 80 series. I checked it with a uh, with a torque app for uh, Android, of course, and it turns out to be a uh, oxygen sensor issue. Uh, oxygen. It's co the code is P0133, which is the uh, oxygen number one bank one they say it's kind of a generic code so I'll just have to uh, replace those and I will actually replace both of them got these parts on Amazon um, okay part numbers right here I marked them uh, just to know which goes where um, this one being the downstream one upstream and I'll just replace both of them since one is bad it's really likely that the other one will also go bad so, uh, we'll try to do that I think the worst part of it is the uh, uh, plastic connection um, get it out the um, the truck being a California truck is not rusted um, the bolts are um, really hard to get to, especially this first one right here. Um, where are you, guy? It's right over there. Uh, I can't see it. But, uh, and the second one is down here where the pipe goes into the, I mean, right before the muffler. Right over there. Uh, there's no no rust on it so the bolts are really fine too I looked at them prior to this video All right. now, these are the uh, connectors that I'm talking about the plastic ones I hate them um, most of the time I'm working with something like this I end up breaking stuff so um, I need to be careful how I get them out oh. they're brand new this one has, has the uh, longer wires, the one closer to the muffler. I'll, uh, I'll shoot some videos over there too under the car. Friends, okay. See the pipe coming down. That's the first one right there. Second one would be right there. Okay. Now, this first guy here is really hard to get to. Uh, the bolts are hidden. Let's see, right behind there. This guy right here. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll get to this. No problem. It's just the plastic connector that I'm afraid of and I'm talking about you know, it set right there it goes right up to the sensor same thing for this guy this is the uh, the other sensor kind of easy to get to okay two bolts but the uh, plastic connectors right over there uh, we'll see how I get to it and I'm talking about you know, it set right there goes right up to the sensor same thing for this guy this is the uh, the other sensor kind of easy to get to okay two bolts but the uh, plastic connectors right over there uh, we'll see how I get to it okay so what I end up doing I use that little screwdriver in there inserted it and uh, 
this thing actually came out clean. Uh, I didn't break anything on either end. So it might be worth a shot this way. Because I couldn't get the... Uh, there's a little catch over here. I, I just can't do anything with it. Press it or whatever, you know, to release this little thing right here. But anyway, this one's out. Okay, got to work on the other one. And this one right here. So I'll try. Uh, I'll try doing the same thing. Just a really tight squeeze over here. Just try to place it right inside here and just pull it out. Um. Here's another shot of um, the sensor. Oh, okay. We'll update. Got this one out too. What I end up doing, I slid this whole thing out right through there, and it was easier to maneuver. And uh, all I did is just squeeze this little tab right here and pull on it. But once it's out, apparently it's this little tab. Okay, squeeze that, and it released the other one. Um, once this thing is out, it's much easier to, to maneuver. Otherwise, there's really no, no room here to work with. For reference point, what I'm doing, I'm kind of on my back here. Left side of the car, just my left hand uh, reaching over here. The little... Uh, See, this is really small. Okay, a little right here. Um, it's a little bit easier. I guess to do it this way. Um, there's not a whole lot of room over here to uh, to work with. So that will work. The second one is over there too somewhere. One day I'll get to it. So it's kind of difficult to hold the camera and work this bolts out. But you get the idea. Little guy out. Uh, all one. It's not, there's no really any rust on it. Just a bunch of carbonized metal gas gasket. Bolts are pretty good shape too. The nuts too. These guys are doing okay. No problem there. Uh, it was really easy to get it out. Some people may have uh, a lot of problem getting those two things out because they're just rusted. Um, for some reason, I don't know who did it, um, there's like a little cut over here, so I guess somebody tried to get them out or replace them. I'm not sure if this is how Toyota made them. I have no clue. Um, both of them. See. I guess you can do it with a... Uh, screwdriver at one point I'm not sure I don't know whatever the new together for the last time this guy's going in right now okay all right so it's all timed up all I gotta do now is just plug this little guy in and I think it goes in this way like that it can only go in one way I forgot uh, to mention those uh, nuts are 12 millimeters. Uh, well, I think I got it. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, it's in. All right, and now let's see if I can slide this thing back in again somehow. Kind of like that. Nope. 
test it. Oh, okay. Well, it's never going to go in that way. Done. Okay, number one done. Off to number two. Out. The biggest thing with the second one was a clip that was just holding it somewhere around the middle of the uh, wire over there. I'll show it to you in a second what I did to get it out. That little tie right there uh, looks like a zip tie sort of thing. Um, all I did was actually pull on both sides of the wire and it came out. I tried so many ways to get it out uh, with some uh, screwdrivers. I tried to take the whole thing out. I couldn't. Just yanked on it and uh, this is, looks like a zip tie anyway. Um, it just gave out, came out and then I was able to put it back in. And that's it. Done. Now we'll have to see if the codes are going to clear by themselves. Till next time.